Type 1 diabetes is managed with insulin administered by injection or a pump. But now researchers are developing what's being called an artificial pancreas. As anchor Andy Sirota shows us, it's designed to make monitoring blood glucose levels and delivering insulin a more seamless process. Justin Wood loves all things mechanical, especially cars. This is a, an Audi A5. This time of year, Justin's under the hood doing winter maintenance. Maintenance is a word he's lived with since age 13, when he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. These days, Justin wears a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM. The constant glucose monitoring system is a sensor and a transmitter that I put either on my stomach or my arms, and it communicates with my smartphone and my pump. The display shows Justin's blood sugar in five-minute intervals, but the pump needs his intervention to deliver insulin. But what if there was a way to close that loop? Scientists at the University of Virginia are refining an artificial pancreas. It's not an implantable organ, but an external system that monitors and automatically delivers insulin. The current system has just a sensor and a pump, which is about one third of the size of a smartphone. Rather than just having two separate um, devices, let's just say, that they really work together, that there's a connection. The UVA researchers developed the brains or the algorithm that drives the system, which they say will improve blood sugar control and make the condition easier to manage. The idea of an artificial pancreas just takes one of those responsibility weights off of your head. New results from a phase three trial of the artificial pancreas found the system was more effective than existing treatments at controlling glucose levels in people with type one diabetes, especially during the overnight hours, which is most challenging for people living with the condition. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.